Hello, I'm Jason Lai and uh, we're going to be extracting the essential oils from this uh, scented geranium today. Um, geranium oil is one of my favorite essential oils because it can actually be used as a mosquito repellent. If you uh, put a little bit in an, in an oil burner, um, it'll uh, help clear the mosquitoes out of your yard. So, first thing we need to do is to chop it up and we're going to put it into this two liter round bottom flask. I like to wear everything just to see what kind of yields, what kind of yield we get here. You can really pack it into the flask too because, because it, um, it really cooks down with the steam. We're going to do steam distillation. And uh, so what we'll end up with at the end is just, uh, you know, a mush which can go on the compost heap. So we've got about 400 grams of plant material here and I'm putting all of the green parts in the flask. So this is a two liter round bottom flask. I've got this from eBay. And what you see here is a heating mantle, which it fits in quite nicely. Uh, again, also from eBay. So my scales tell me that there's um, 330 grams of geranium in here now. And uh, just the leaves and the green, part, green parts, and I'm just poking it to get it down. We're going to add boiling water so that it about halfway fills this uh, vessel and then we'll uh, uh, set up the rest of the system. So we're just filling the sink up with cold water. I'll explain why in a moment. So here's the heating mantle. Here's our um, two liter round bottom flask to which I've connected a separatory funnel. And it's a separatory funnel with a bypass, a pressure equalizing bypass. The steam, the vapors, and the essential oils are going to come up here. They're going to condense in this condenser up here, and I'll show you this is why I need the sink full of cold water. And then it's going to drip down in here. And the oil will separate out. We'll actually be able to put the water back into the flask uh, to reflux it. What I did want to show you is right here. As you can see the vapors the plant matter vapors and the steam are going to have to go up here and up through this tube. So it's really important that we don't get this blocked. It's not a huge deal because these are really, you know, these would just pop out to relieve the pressure. Uh, and here's another tip. I like to wet the, um, wet the glass joints as I put them together. That helps uh, show that they're sealed. A little fountain pump in the end here which I'm going to pump through and use to cool the condenser. Here goes the hot water. And already you'll see these leaves start to relax a little bit. Ooh. Already smells good. Ice. Plug in the heater. Plug in, plug in the pump. And there it goes. So it's starting to boil here and you can see that the uh, geranium is going from a bright green to a uh, brownish kind of color as it gets uh, as it uh, as it breaks down and releases its essential oils and uh, and other materials inside the leaves break down too. Once again, ensure that there is nothing, uh, you know, blocking this uh, this aperture here. And here's the condensate. It's starting to get into the uh, bypass there, and it's got to go all the way up there to the condenser at the top. There it goes. And we should start to see our first drops condensing in the condenser and running into the collection vessel, the separatory funnel. So there's our oil and water condensing in the condenser. And uh, if we just move down, you see it dripping down into the separatory funnel. Now if you look carefully in the separatory funnel, you'll see the start of an oil phase, right, ouch, it's hot, and um, 
you'll see some little droplets of oil in there. Probably just about done, so I'm going to go ahead and disconnect the heater, but leave the pump going so that can start to cool down. It's been running about 10-15 minutes, I suppose, and this is all nice and brown in here, so I'm assuming that we've gotten the, the best part of what we're going to get today. Well, it's somewhat cooled down now, and I think you can clearly see an oil layer here. Well, it's still hot. Uh, we've got a bit of an emulsion still in here, so we'll see what it's like when it's fully cooled down. So as it slowly cools, it's becoming more and more turbid. So I think we've made a hydrosol, which is now slowly starting to, you know, the oil is slowly starting to come out of um, uh, a micro emulsion or even a solution. A again, you can start to see a. Uh, oil phase separating out of the meniscus, which is encouraging. So I think I'm just going to leave it overnight and we'll see what happens in the morning. So clean up. Okay. Here's our uh, cooked geranium and um, what I've found is, is that one way to get, get the leaves out here is to put a bottle brush in, twist it a little bit and uh, kind of that grabs hold of them and you can just pull them out like that. So, oh, <coughs> got a big old knot of them there. So we have a hydrosol. So uh, basically, it's like a suspension of um, geranium oil. It, I mean, it really does smell wonderfully strong of geraniums. How to how to actually do something with this? Um, well, we've got a few options. One of them is is we could put a layer of mineral oil in here and allow the geranium oil to dissolve it in it. And, and essentially extract it. Oh, come here, kitty cat. Oh, dear, dear. Another one would be adding an alcohol, and that would preserve this, stop uh, bacteria from growing in there, um, and should help it go into solution. So to test that out, I poured a little bit out of the bottom through this valve here and added a teaspoonful of alcohol, and sure enough, we get a clear liquid. I think that's what I'm going to do with this. go. We have geranium oil in an alcohol water solution. Ta -da! So there you have it. I think that in retrospect I was probably a little bit um, a little bit impatient and uh, I think if you know given given the time to do it again, I think I would have uh, drained off the hydrosol through this tap here. Um, and actually separated out the few droplets of pure geranium oil that were in there and kept, you know, put those to one side. However, um, I did choose to solubilize the lot, and here it is. This smells wonderfully like geraniums, which frankly always remind me of my grandmothers. Uh, both my grandmothers like geraniums. And I think another thing uh, would be good in the future is a better container for the plant material, uh, you know, so it doesn't have to be poked in and out of those little holes. So, but there you have it. That's the basic principle of steam distillation applied to extraction of essential oils from plants. So, hope that you enjoyed it. I had fun making the video. Thank you. I'm Jason Lai.